Yeah. <laughs> Woo. All right. You know, you know it's a good show. You know we have a great guest when I can turn a yawn into a scream. Sustained note. Ah! That's what Kyle Bornheimer does to me. That's what you did to him. <laughs> Compelling argument. Compelling argument, my friend. Yeah. You're I'm still on today? It's possible. I smell feet. Does that I smell the dancing? I don't think it's my feet. I mean, I, I did... I Fritos. I washed... I did wear dancing shoes with no socks all day. But, I seriously smell feet. Yeah, yeah, but I've washed... I mean, I showered in dry socks and yeah. clean shoes. What? Anderson, you're looking like... I'm just, okay. <laughs> smell my feet. Like, put your face to my feet. God, this is what they do. I always come in here with the camera. And I try and shoot you know, the guest, and they always make it about themselves every fucking time. <laughs> Can you, you gotta, I gotta complain you? about you. I told the guy to go fuck off, but I gotta complain. Yeah. He said, guy, when you're doing these videos, you breathe too hard. Yeah, it's because I'm, um, I'm asthmatic. I apologize. <laughs> you're smoking too many cigarettes. I quit smoking. Thanks for the you support. You did. That's right, the e cigarettes. It's been three months. Dr. Drew. You're doing the e cigarettes? Yeah. How are they? They're good. It's been three months. So if I'm not drinking or writing, I, I'm not smoking. Do you guys smoke your guy? I, I'm not a smoker anymore. I mean, maybe once a month I'll have a cigarette. And then I feel it like I've had a pack. It's yeah. crazy. But I, in my 20s, I smoked. I was kind of a social smoker a little bit. Or a oh, you're the guy that comes up because you got to smoke, bro. Right. I, I, actually, I used to buy. I, I started smoking Pall Mall and Filters. Like, uh, like in my early That's hardcore. Days, which were really tasty, but you can't maintain that for too long unless you're in 1925. Yeah, I, I, I smoked a lot when I was using and drinking, and I never really had a taste for like I never thought back on it fondly, and just recently, like it was like Ooh, something happened. I don't know. Maybe you like, got a craving. Yeah, I was like, yeah. maybe a cigarette. And then I thought it was like, why would I want a cigarette? That's dumb. But I mean, the idea popped in my head. Having one every once in a while, when it, in the right situation, it tastes good. It is nice, but it, American crappy chemical cigarettes yeah. now just are crappy chemicals. But by the way, you're, you're on your way to start chipping like that. Right. You're on your way. <laughs> you are. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Hey, but that brings up a good point, though. Like. What do you know about these e these electronic cigarettes? There's these? concern about the phenols and stuff in them, but uh, people stop smoking at least. I, I don't know that there's a, a big downside. I don't know. I mean, what are the vapors that are? We know, there's concerns about them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anderson. You know, you know. I'm buying smokes them. on the way home. Right? I, I haven't read much about it, but I do yeah, know go back that to, they, go they back throw to the around on At least on you know what's, what's in yeah, yeah, That's bad for you. I don't know what's true and what's not. Right, you know mean. who's spreading this anti-e-smoke uh, propaganda? The yeah, cigarette company. The tobacco <laughs> companies, yeah. That's right, Robert Wool. That's right. Uh, yes, you know what? I do realize from these videos, a few that I've seen, uh, the microphone is facing towards me, so I'm nice and loud, and no one can hear what you guys are saying. So, well, I, I, it's I, a flaw. I, I want to pick on you. I'm told, I did tell the guy to fuck off. It's compelling. Compelling video. <laughs> all right, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, right, everyone. We got everything you needed. Thanks. We got it all. Your feet smell. Big commercial for electronic cigarettes.